Boris Johnson said he'd rather, let the bodies pile high in their thousands than allow a second lockdown, report says. Here's a summary of the article. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said last year that he would rather, let the bodies pile high in their thousands, than impose a lockdown as the coronavirus pandemic raged across Britain, sources told the Daily Mail over the weekend. The sources said that Johnson made the comment at a meeting at 10 Downing Street in October where he eventually agreed to impose a second national lockdown. A spokesperson for the opposition Labour Party said, If this report is true, then these are truly shocking and sickening comments from Boris Johnson. It is hard to imagine how families who have lost loved ones to COVID will feel reading them. Boris Johnson must make a public statement as soon as possible in his response to this report. The report followed an extraordinary row between Johnson and Dominic Cummings, his former chief advisor. Cummings, who left Downing Street acrimoniously in December, published a blog post on Friday denying accusations from Downing Street that he was behind a recent leak of text messages between Johnson and the billionaire James Dyson. Downing Street last week attempted to defuse the row over the flat's refurbishment by saying Johnson would meet the cost himself. This post received a score of 25,000, with an upvote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. So he let the bodies pile high in their thousands, then called for a second lockdown. Yes, Minister. The greatest British sitcom. I feel sad that Paul Eddington did not receive a single Best Actor award for the show and did not receive a knighthood. He really deserved it, all the main cast did but only Sir Nigel Hawthorne received it. He wasn't knighted just for that show, but mainly for his stellar turn in the 1993 film classic Demolition Man. Edit. It's a joke. People, I know the man's body of work. More to the point, Nigel Hawthorne received four BAFTAs for his role, but Paul Eddington didn't receive even a single one. By any measure, that's ridiculous. Rewatching a few episodes of Yes Minister is enough to convince anyone that Paul Eddington did an equally good job. In fact, I think Eddington's role had more facets as compared to Hawthorne's, but Hawthorne's role had better moments and he carried those moments perfectly. The English are suckers for an upper-class accent. This is kind of like in Shrek where Lord Fuckwad tells his knights, Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make, to thunderous applause. Just a really weird promise to make to your people. And the people keep voting him and the Tories back. Just can't comprehend. People are fine with people suffering and even dying. Other people, the Tory skill is in getting enough people to believe it couldn't possibly be them. It's never a problem until it happens to me, the conservative mantra. You see, COVID-19 viruses have a preset kill limit. Knowing their weakness, I sent wave after wave of my own men at them until they reached their limit and shut down. Donald, show them the medal I won. A few of you will be forced through a fine mesh screen for your planet. They will be the luckiest of all. That's what the boss at my work said too. I'd rather have people die than lose more money and he doesn't even own the company. Some people are just morally fucked. I was working at a law firm initially, and one of the big names there was trying to take it seriously and do all remote work. Only essential people coming in and they had a cleaning crew mega disinfect everything every night. HR and a few of the other people up top didn't want to. Eventually they sent most people to work remote, but it was a fight. It's insane how much people will do for the bottom line though. Damn, that's harsh man. It is a sacrifice that he is willing to make. Easy, Farquad. In breaking news, upper class fuckwit doesn't care for the average person. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.